So I decided it would be a good idea to buy every single IKEA kitchen gadget and test them and then report to you which ones are worth buying. So today we are doing a very exciting video. Maybe you've heard of IKEA. IKEA is well known for selling ready to assemble furniture, kitchen appliances, decorations, and even selling food so you can stop and eat for a while. I literally love their Swedish meatballs. Like they're like my favorite thing ever. We out here in our favorite place. I know one section in particular that really pulls me in and that's the kitchen gadgets. It's just so colorful and cute and everything just promises you that it'll make cooking easier and more functional. So I decided it would be a good idea to buy every single IKEA kitchen gadget and test them and then report to you which ones are worth buying. This could be a lot of work, but I'm doing it so that you don't have to. The first issue I ran into when I got to IKEA was deciphering what is a kitchen tool and what is a kitchen gadget. This is where it's gonna be difficult because we want the gadgets, not the kitchen tools. There's a difference. Now I know tool and gadget seem like the same thing, but for the sake of the video, there needed to be some differences. For instance, if we were getting every kitchen tool, we would have to buy every single item on this display. But a kitchen gadget is more specialized, used for the preparation of a single kind of dish or for performing one specific function across a variety of dishes. Does that make any sense? No, it doesn't make sense? Okay, well, that was the same page my mom and I were at when we were at Ikea. But is it a gadget though? Is it a gadget or just a tool? <laughs> like, would you say this is a gadget? Or is this just a tool? Yeah, something has to have a little extra different thing about it. Here's an example. This is a kitchen tool. This is a gadget. One is basic and the other has a specialized, maybe gimmicky function that draws you in. Tool, gadget. Tool, gadget. These are gadgets. These are just tools. Honestly, may have chosen some tools that were gadgets or some gadgets that were tools, but I think we got a pretty good haul of items. 23 items to test. Never have I ever went to Ikea and had a cart look like this. <laughs> I soon realized that testing every gadget was gonna be very time consuming, so I started doing some much needed organization and put each gadget into like a generalized group. We have the squeezers group, the grates group, the baking decorating gadgets, tea and drinks, the I don't know what these do, probably really not necessary, but could be fun group, and the cuts or chops group. And then also this item, which I thought was a gadget, but turns out it's actually a snack Tupperware thing. So goodbye to that for now. So to test all these items, I thought of this three course meal that absolutely does not work together as a cohesive group, but I still thought it would be fun. First, some tea and snackies for the main course. Second is schnitzel with cucumber potato garlic salad. I had a schnitzel the other day and I'm actually obsessed, so. Finishing off with a carrot ice cream sandwich, cookie and hot chocolate. And before you ask, no, these don't make sense. Remember, I already mentioned it doesn't make any sense together. Hello there, I have to interrupt for a second, but I promise it'll be worth your while. If you like to go to Matoshi dresses anyways. I thought it would be a ton of fun to pack December with giveaways. One of my big love languages is definitely gift giving, so I love doing giveaways, and I thought, what better month to do a bunch? We're doing $100 gift cards to Etsy in every single Vlogmas short, so make sure to go and enter that. But we're also gonna be doing giveaways on these main videos. Every week, following up to Christmas, we're gonna be giving away one to to Matoshi dress. Each week will be a different style of dress. This week, the giveaway dress is this one. So if you like this dress, make sure to check the description box on how to enter. And if you don't like this one, you might want to tune in next week because we're going to be giving away a different one each week. This is also not sponsored by Tuota. She doesn't know I'm doing this. I'm buying these dresses with my own money to give to you guys. But yeah, that's been the holiday announcement. I don't want to take up any more of your time with this, but it's the month of giveaways. The big bag of items. All right, I can't believe this is the first item we're gonna test. This is a tea steeper. I feel like these have been around for a hot minute, but we're gonna test it like so. It smells so good. Wait a minute, tea is flying out. Why is tea coming out? You know what? Maybe that's just the way it works. Okay, it has been a minute or two. I think this is good. So I guess we will take this to our serving table. This, again, for loose tea, it comes with two in the package and it's supposed to hang off of the side of the cup. It works perfectly. Oh my gosh, it's working too. I love these items. I love Ikea. Okay, now let's see if I burn my hand as I pull this out. <gasps> it's perfect. It's perfect. Like if you like loose tea and you don't want to make a mess, B. 
these. This is literally the kitchen gadget I was most excited to try. Pushing this in the corner of the cutting board and then just like pushing like onion or these stem ends of carrots and things in here. And then when you're done, you just take it, put it in the garbage. Let's try it. Okay. These are the good ones. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with this. I am seriously obsessed. Okay, get ready for this. These are great. Ikea really did something with these. I'm actually a little sad about this one because Ikea has a different item like this where it cuts things into many different shapes. There's like a potato fry shape, one other one, and then this, but it was out of stock when we were there. So I got this one. I feel like these were like brand new in 2005. Now, if you've never seen this tool, prepare to be blown away. Oh my gosh, it's happening. Woo, look at that. And look at this. We are left with a core, a perfect core. This, I feel like would have fallen under kitchen tool, but you guys were freaking out on Instagram about this, this knife in particular. It's a paring knife. And you guys were like, it's the best paring knife I've ever used in my entire life. So I was like, I obviously need to try it. Oh, oh, I've actually never had a pairing knife. I mean, this one's really convenient. Like I have to think Ikea did something with this, like something special. The pairing knife you guys were all excited about, I get it, but I'll stick to using a peeler. For my safety, I will stick with a peeler. The next item we have to try is this egg slicer. You guys, this is iconic and squish it. Oh my gosh, it's so satisfying. Stop, so satisfying. Wait a second. I think I just realized what this replaces. It just replaces cutting it by hand. Not super necessary. <laughs> Would this have any other function? I don't think so. I mean, it could maybe cut like an avocado, something that's like soft enough. So now we're just getting the snack ready and we're gonna feed it to mom. <laughs> And she has to eat it all. <laughs> two apples, two carrots, two celery, and an egg. And wash it down with these. Mmm, <laughs> those are delicious. I love the cuts. <laughs> The next thing we have to try, I thought this was a potato peeler, turns out it's a cheese slicer. I love this idea to be honest because I hate cutting cheese. There's something about it. Let's see. <gasps> Shut up. That is kind of everything. I love how thin it is because I love thin pieces of cheese. Normally I eat enough cheese to need one of these. That rhymed. Stuart and I in our kitchen, we're trying to have like no single use products in the sense of like, if it only does one function, we won't keep it because it takes up too much room. But a cheese slicer, I mean, that just might have to stay. Next, we're going to try this Ikea mandolin. I just realized on the back, you can put it onto a piece of Tupperware too. Can I set this? There we go. So that makes it, that's weird. You almost feel like you're not doing anything with this, but you are. It's turning it down. <gasps> Let's try this again. <gasps> it worked! Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Oh, you cut so much so fast. Literally. Oh my gosh, these cucumbers look great. <laughs> That's a 10 out of 10. If you can find the little Tupperware for underneath it, I think that would be really nice. I just prepped the potatoes and now we're gonna be making garlic potatoes. I am so excited to try this. This is the 365 plus garlic press. Garlic presses are amazing, but they are so difficult to clean. This one's really interesting because it fully comes apart. Let me show you. Look at this. It comes apart so that you can clean in the grate. If you've ever pressed garlic, you understand why that is so awesome. So let's press this garlic. 
Who's triggered by my hair and all the dishes? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, let's clean it. Oh my gosh, it's so easy to clean. <gasps> I love it. If you're a garlic lover, you've probably had a garlic press and got things stuck in it. Not things, got garlic stuck in it. This is the answer. Ikea did something with this. Okay, you guys, if you don't like seeing meat, skip to this time, but we're gonna be trying this meat tenderizing tool. This is interesting because on one hand, there's like this little stabbing device. And then on the other hand, this is like a classic meat tenderizer. So, okay, so let me just show you how this works. So. Okay, we're gonna start here. Ah! Little holes. This is probably good for like soaking up marinade. I've never done this before. This feels wrong for some reason. I don't like it. I'm dying to try it. You can come in here and try it. I'll just try this. Oh gosh. Uh, can I just tell you that you're gonna have to throw that scrunchie away? <laughs> I mean, these worked amazing when making the schnitzels. Okay, the schnitzels looking fabulous. Now this is the spatula that we deemed a kitchen gadget because like, look at the shape. Okay, let me try and scoop this big schnitzel out of here. Oh my gosh, the spatula is the perfect size for schnitzel. <laughs> I love this. I feel like it'd be really good for pancakes or things that are like bigger. I feel like I'm gonna say this about all of them. Probably not a need, but it did do its function very well. We have two kitchen gadgets that have to do with squeezing lemons. Also, look at this giant lemon. Okay, let's tackle this one first. We're gonna take this giant lemon. We've all seen, I feel like, these types, you know, the squish type. It's not a new system. We don't need that much, but we'll just put a little bit. Two seconds later. Hey guys, I realized something, mom, show. You were doing like this, and then it was like loose under here, just kind of wiggling around. But really, this fits in, and then these actually have little grips and then it stays like in. Don't you think that's worth telling me? <laughs> well, <laughs> okay, now we have a real competition. <gasps> look! Oh, <laughs> just look at the lemon doesn't fit. Let me just cut a little small piece. Okay, there. Okay, there you go. Let's try that. Honestly, I think I've had more convenient lemon presses than this. <laughs> that's working. Well, yeah, it's working, but this is about finding convenience. And it all pulled back in here onto my hand. Look, watch this. Look it? Yeah. It's popping out a little bit. Now I'm covered in lemon juice. <laughs> <laughs> this, on the other hand, if you're a lover of lemonade, this could be for you. This kitchen gadget is the Overmat. This is such a cool idea. I don't know about your household, but I have a certain someone in my house who opens fruit halfway and then fruit flies come out, and it is really, really problematic. So the, this would be perfect. So you take it and you wrap it around the fruit, like where it was cut. I like them, and it'll keep it fresh. It's like very tight there. Okay, I'm just gonna clean up. We're done course two, so now we need to go serve it. Timmy's waiting. <laughs> It's so good. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Somebody's really excited to try it. He can't take his eyes off it. <laughs> High five if you like schnitzel. Oh <laughs> yeah. Okay, just whipped up a really quick carrot cake cookie base. So there's these two graters slash Tupperware. It's got like different types of lids. Got a thick one and a thin one, and you just pop it on like it's the lid, and then you can just grate. I love that. Okay, let's try it. And then you would just pop the lid on and store it in your fridge. I love that, I love stuff like this. Okay, let's see if this one's any better. It's actually a little bit better for like keeping on the ground. Cause it, oh, it has this little rubbery bit on the bottom <gasps> that this doesn't oh, have. Oh my, my, my. This is the Ikea gadget we're testing. It goes onto a rolling pin. It was also a holiday item, which the holiday items were so cute. Okay, I have like one shot at this. Oh 
Oh, look how pretty. Bye, this is my new favorite thing. This is adding to my things that grandmas would love that I also love. Mm -hmm. Like, this is everything. Okay, those are like the cutest thing ever. But if you love baking, it does add a little, you know, a little oomph. Before we finish up the cookies, I'm just gonna do these two miscellaneous product products. This is gonna help us open cans that are tight, which... Is it a can or a jar? A jar. <laughs> <laughs> so I literally can't open this. Oh, I opened it. <laughs> so I'm gonna put the big one on here and we'll see. Oh, wow. <laughs> Boom. Oh, what is this? <laughs> it's like I think about my grandma opening things alone in her apartment. This might be the answer. I should give this to her. I will. Okay, this is a spoon holder. Okay, so I have this weird shaped spoon. I don't know. <laughs> it's great. Here is how the cookies turned out if anyone was curious to see them. They are really cute, but unfortunately, they're a little hard, but honestly, they taste great. Okay, we have two icing things. This is more of like a cake decorating kit. I kind of love this, but I also just like don't know how convenient it'll be. You fill it with icing and then you can squish it out. <laughs> Surely that will be enough for our five cookies. <laughs> I mean, it's a piping bag. Okay, we knew that was gonna work. This is the real test. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Can I start off by saying it's really hard to squish down? <laughs> like, it's really hard to squish. <laughs> Do you wanna try this? Sure. Like, look at it now. Wait, wait, look. You have to squish it hard, don't you? Oh wow, you're doing so much better than me. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. I'm a little disappointed it's not better. Yeah. See, like this is the kind of thing I don't even know, is this a gadget? Or is it just baking tools? Okay. <laughs> Next, I'm pretty excited about these ice cream scoops. They have like these big holes, there's two sizes. I like the idea of the hole on the inside because then you can like poke it out. So we're gonna try these out. <gasps> it's awesome. <laughs> oh, this is driving me up the wall. Okay, let's push this on here. Now I'm gonna use this. I love it. Mom, <laughs> are you excited to eat this? <laughs> oh, wow, that looks great. That looks really nice. <laughs> okay, it kind of shot out the back, I noticed, and I was scared of that. I don't know, this gadget is like 100%. <laughs> Okay, so the scoop is being heated. Yes. Okay, now let's just see if this makes it better. Hmm, you're killing it. Now this part. Oh, oh, hang on. See, and you can take the ice cream off that side too. Yes, see, I was being so stupid. I knew I was being stupid. <laughs> Like, I knew this was a me problem. <laughs> ice cream scoops, I think they're good. But if you already have an ice cream scoop, don't get rid of it and get these. This is the last kitchen gadget. <gasps> this is this thing that can like mix up like, sorry, I said like too many times. You can mix coffee, tea, in our case, hot chocolate. Check this out, you guys. Oh, batteries, right. Wait a minute. <laughs> Why isn't it working? Okay. <laughs> Did anybody see that? Okay, start it in your drink. Trust me, you'll thank me later. And we're done. We have our final course. I was thinking we would do something a little fancy like this. Ah. 
How nice! I love this. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to try it. Be careful, it. it might be hot and cold. Oh my gosh, I haven't had like... Hey! How y'all doing? <laughs> You're loving this day. Is this the best day ever, Chippy? Oh, God. oh my gosh. These are delicious. Ikea get kitchen get it. <clears throat> <laughs> okay, I can't believe we tested all of these items. They're sitting out front of me. And I mean, this was a feat. And I'm pretty proud. I've always been so drawn in by IKEA kitchen gadgets. Like this is living my own fantasy. Hopefully some of you guys share the same one. I'm gonna tell you my absolute faves. If you like to cook and you find yourself chopping a lot and like pushing things off your cutting board, I honestly see such a use in this. The second kitchen gadget that I think is super useful is this garlic press that comes apart. Like this is literally gonna be amazing. Like I'm not trying to be dramatic, but this is an awesome tool. As for fun extras, I would say my favorite fun extra was this. I mean, I love baking and I think it was really cute, the print of the hearts on there and it was easy to use. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was very time consuming to test. If you did, make sure to click the subscribe button and let me know if there's any other Ikea items or items in general you'd like to see us try. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!